Hi, welcome to Sheer Pole. This tutorial is on back hook and front hook. I'm glad you tuned in today. These are some of my favorite. My pole is on sta uh, static. I've already warmed up, so if you did not warm up, please go back and do a warm up video. Any warm up video is fine. I also have a warm up video that you can choose on this channel. Make sure you have um, your grips already on. So let's get started. Front hook is all about the body being open towards the audience or the front of the room. Uh, front hook can be closed like this, and front hook can also be completely open where the hips are open wide. On a static pole, the idea is that we create the momentum as we are walking around the pole. So you need to learn how much grip you need on the pole so that your hand can actually move around it. We always have an outside leg and arm for the momentum. Remember, the pole does not move, we move around it. This is building up the strength in our bodies to be able to hold on to the pole when we're in spin. Spin pole does a lot of the work for us, and in static pole, we are doing the work. And this is what really starts to build strength and integrity in the body. The whole idea when we are coming around for front hook is that we are walking into it front hook closed looks like this. We place the knee around the pole, we bring the outside leg around and close. When we have the right momentum, we actually get around the pole completely. So we are walking into it, two, three, four, leg, spin. So you can see the hips are closed. Front hook open, you want to walk into it, two, three, four, place the leg around. As you swing the outside leg, you are going to bring the hips open. You're going to touch the feet behind you. It is going to look like this. Okay, now. Remember in the beginning, if you're not used to your hips or your pelvis being open, that is okay. Work at your own pace. The idea is to allow the hips to be open while the feet touch behind. I'll show you again. Your feet are gonna touch behind. And this is what it looks like from this side. You want to push your pelvis forward so you don't want your butt back you want your pelvis forward as you bring the knees up okay so as we're walking into it one two three four switch bring your knees forward and come around now on a static pull you're going to start to feel the skin pulling and that's okay do not be alarmed by that Let's do it on this side. One, two, three, hook, push your hips forward and lean into it. Now you might find that my pole is letting go. I've been working on it a lot and it sometimes moves, but on static, the pole should not be moving. Another one that you can work on as you are learning how to use the momentum of the body, it is when we place our leg on the pole and we push the pelvis forward. When we're bringing this outside leg around and touching our toes behind, it is that movement of the pelvis pushing forward that helps us get around the pole. As we're walking into it, the inside leg is put on the pole and we lean into it. And that's what gets us around. So practice that. The other one for front hook open is one-handed. And as you get stronger, you're gonna to wanna to practice these moves because you're gonna to wanna to feel the body with one arm holding you. I found this to be a little easier than it sounds. It's easier to put the body forward when this arm can be back. So in front hook open, there is two-handed or there is one-handed. So we're walking into it two, three, four, place the knee on the pole, lean forward and come down. Let me show you again. I'll do it with this arm. 
In pole, we want to always work both sides of the body. You don't want to overextend just one side or build up the muscles on one side. As, now remember, some sides are stronger than others, so don't feel like if you lose your grip or you aren't as strong, that's okay. You're, you're building. One, two, three, four. Hook, lean forward, touch your feet, and come down. Okay? And, and work on loosening the grip. You could see my grip was a little bit too tight there. So depending on what sides of the pole, don't forget to have your towel alcohol handy. Sometimes I find this to be extremely beneficial. When you're working out and you're having a tough time, just wipe down your pole. Makes it really easy. Always have that nearby. And if you find that you're starting to sweat, the alcohol will also help your hands. Let's walk into this again. One, two, three, four. Hook, lean forward, and come down. So that is a really fun move. That is front hook. There was front hook closed, front hook open, and one-handed front hook. Please stop the video and rewind. The idea is that you get an opportunity to practice. I'm gonna teach you back hook. Back hook, we start with a pirouette. And what that means is we need some momentum to get into back hook because back hook is similar to front hook where we are going to start to trust the body. Back hook closed and back hook, hook open are two different things. I'm gonna show you back hook open. So when we're coming around the pole, we wanna do a pirouette because now we have momentum. We're gonna get into the armpit grip and once again with um, our hips, we're going to open them and point our toes. So we are still gonna be in the same position. This time, we're gonna be into an armpit grip. I'm gonna show you again on this side. When we take the pirouette around the pole, that's what gives us the momentum. We get into the armpit grip and we end like this. So the full move looks like this. Pirouette, keep the momentum, get into the armpit and you come down. So that is back hook open, and we need the pirouette to give us that momentum. Back hook closed is where we're trusting the body. We are not gonna watch the body. We're not gonna have a whole lot of momentum, but we're gonna use the buttocks to take around the pole. When we lean out of the pole, it's gonna give us the momentum that we need. Hold on to the pole, outside arm high, inside arm, forearm grip, Start to extend the body out. Come up and around. And you can see, I had a pretty decent amount of momentum considering the size of my bum. I'm able to get myself around the pole. You don't need to watch where you're going. You can trust your body. Let's do it on the right hand side. The left side of the body is gonna be on the inside. Use a forearm grip, bring your outside hand up onto the pole Start to lean your buttocks out, lean around. And you bring the legs up and come down. And that is back hook closed. You might not find that that is your favorite, but it's teaching you to trust what is behind you because we're not really watching. And you're starting to learn how to put the buttocks out while staying in a nice line while not overextending. So remember on static pole, it's all about the work that our body is doing, not the pole, because we're moving around it. Let's go over these one last time. This is front hook closed. We're walking into it, two, three, four, hook, bring the outside leg around and close. Okay? This is front hook open, two hands. Walking into it, two, three, four. Come up onto the pole. Bring your hips forward and come around. This is front hook one-handed. We're walking in, two, three. Hook around the pole. Push your hips forward and come around. This is back hook closed. 
we are going to have a forearm grip. Outside hand is high. Stick the buttocks out. Grip around the pole. And come down. This is back hook open. We're going to start with a pirouette for momentum. Pirouette around the pole. Come into an armpit grip. Take the outside leg for momentum. And bring the toes up. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Get your practice in. Turn on your favorite music.